Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer that just arrived. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. So nice little setup on this one. Still keeping that overall length down as much as possible, keeping your weight down as well. And so always double check your tow ratings, but most likely be able to tow this with a a uh, half ton or a bigger SUV, but you always just want to double check tow ratings on it. But we'll go ahead and get started right up front here. So we got our two and five sixteenths inch coupler, our safety chains, battery breakaway, manual crank jack, and then I currently have it plugged into our battery pack so that way you can see how the lights operate on this. So in order to get interior and exterior lights working, you will need to be plugged into either an external battery source, whether it's the tow vehicle or we get a battery pack installed on here for you. So exterior color on this one, we've got the charcoal metallic, which is charcoal metallic. It's a nice color. It goes well with most color pickups, most color vehicles. So having this charcoal metallic just switches it up a little bit from the standard white that we do too. So over here on the tack door, we've got our wider 42 inch tack door opening, our swing out saddle rack, so the thing I like about having this 42 inch wide tack door and then our swing out saddle rack is you still have plenty of space to step up into this trailer while this saddle rack is swung out. So you can step up, you know, I'm not having to turn sideways to get in here. You can walk in with these and not have to, you know, shimmy sideways. So it's plenty of space to get in and out. And then on this, this uh, saddle rack, these are all adjustable, removable. We can add additional. You got your two blanket poles up above. So if you wanted to do you know, blanket pull saddle rack, blanket pull saddle rack, you can do that. Um, it's really easy to take these off and adjust them. All you gotta do is back out these two little knobs right here. You either back them out all the way and that can take it off completely, or if you just back them out a little bit, you can slide them up and down with ease. So, and this is on a gas shock, so it'll swing back in, and that's where it sits stationary while you're in transit. And then over here on this tack door, we've got our window up above. So this is going to be able to get this open. You can get some airflow in here. If you got some, some wet, sweaty, musty blanket smells, you can at least get some airflow and get some ventilation. And then down below that, we've got our brush box. So that brush box, I typically personally keep uh, stuff I use pretty often in there. So hoof pick, my brushes, my fly spray, liniment. I'll keep a couple polo wraps in there, you know, just stuff that I use often that I need to grab pretty quickly instead of having to search through the tack room for it it's right there in that brush box so i'm stepping up here into the tack room so we've got this step that goes over top the tack door when that goes when that closes up so that step is going to give you a little bit more room to step up on it um, it's closer to the ground so you're not having to get your leg up as high to get on this side rail to get inside the trailer so the ease of use with having the step just comes in handy big time and then up here in the tack room, so right away to the left, you will see a 25 gallon water tank. So uh, water tank, it's really nice to have on board, you know, in case you get stranded on the side of the road, you've got water there. If you're going up to the mountains, you don't know what kind of water sources you might have. You might want to bring some water from home with you. Um, or even if you have a finicky horse that just has a hard time adjusting to new water, you can at least bring some from home and keep them drinking and keep them hydrated. And then over there on the partition wall, we've got our bridle rack or bridle hooks going across with our carpet down below. So that carpet down below is going to help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying that bridles will do in transit. In turn, keep your bridles in good condition and keep your trailer in good condition as well. And then down there in the corner, we have our full size spare tire. And then up above, it's kind of hard to see past the blanket poles, but we've got a bar up there. And that way, if you got to hang some show clothing, if you got to hang some uh, stuff, you've got that opportunity to do so up there. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our bus windows, one for each stall, and these open up part way. So I went ahead and opened this one from the inside before our video here. And so that way I can demonstrate and show you how far they open. So that's all the way. 
and then you can close it or open it as you go. So I highly recommend just unlocking them before you put horses inside. And then that way you can open and close these as you please as the temperature rises or drops and you've got horses inside the trailer. Just makes it easier to come to the outside and push them open or close them up. You have an LED light up above. So having that LED light, I'm telling you, it's a lifesaver when you're trying to tack or untack in the dark. Just being able to see is more comfortable for yourself for one and then for the horses too and they're not as, as spooky. And then you got your three ties down below there. And then we've got two 5,200 pound Dexter torsion axles with our 16 inch aluminum wheel. And these aluminum wheels, they're the black and silver, you know, combo. And I, I love the way they look with this charcoal metallic exterior. It just really puts this trailer together really well and, and makes it look a little flashier than just your standard, standard type trailers that you see out there too. So Cimarron trailers are gonna be an all aluminum trailer. You have one of the strongest upright posts on the market, one of the strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then they all come standard with their half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof. And that roof has an R3 thermal value on it. So it's gonna be a little bit warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and just more heat regulating. And then a plus, especially for us down here in the front range, it's Denton hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So nice little, um, you know, standard thing that Cimarron does on all their trailers is those upright posts, the floors, the roofs. Those are big ones for me and really like that on these trailers. So here on the rear, we've got our 60-40 door set up. So 60 on the right, 40 on the left. And then coming up in here, we've got our divider. So these dividers currently do not have pads on them, but we can easily get pads installed if that's what um, you want or need. I, I like the pads for especially lighter colored horses, your grays, your palominas, your buckskins, your paints, those type of horses because of their lighter coat. When they get to rubbing against this aluminum, they will get discoloration. And so the pads for one, give them a little bit of comfort. And then for two, is going to help that rubbing from happening. So these are spring loaded dividers. So that's going to push over to the side. And you'll notice right here, we added a little bit of length to the end of this trailer. And that way this divider stays on the inside of the trailer, no matter what. And we're not going to be posing any issues with a horse grabbing a hip or anything like that. And then on the first stall, you've got your full length stud stall. So this goes all the way down to the floor. For one, if you've got a horse that's a, you know, a stud or you've got to keep them away from the other horses a little more, you can stick them up there. You got one that likes to step on its neighbor while you're in transit, stick them up there and they're not going to be able to do so. And then what I really like about having this stud stall on this front, front area or front stall is the fact that you can use this front area as a storage stall and then haul two horses behind it and still access it through the escape door from the outside so if you are to put stuff in here you know it's not going to be rolling back underneath those horses feet it's going to be stuck in that front area we've got led lights up on the right hand side so you're able to get horses in there and out with ease in the dark and then we've got our roof vents up above so those roof vents they push forward and they push back so push them forward they'll help draw that air in push them back, they'll help draw that air, ba air back and just keep that airflow going over the horse's heads and backs. So on this one, we currently have just our rubber mat floors over top of the aluminum floors. So this is what the aluminum floors look like underneath. So it's all one solid surface. So what's nice about this, if you wanted to go ahead and make sure that these floors were not getting any kind of urine down to them, uh, we do have a dealer just south of us here that installs the worm flooring. So a worm is we eliminate rubber mats. Highly recommend it's going to put an impenetrable layer on the floor of this trailer and then you get a rubber composite on top and that's going to prevent any kind of liquid from getting down to that aluminum floor. Because the only thing that eats away at aluminum is horse urine and um, you know what a good combo to have horse urine and horses in here and then the aluminum floor. So just making sure that your floor is staying clean um, is a big one and then that worm flooring just helps out all together. So you got an LED light, load light up above too. So that way if you're loading in the dark, they can see the outside a little bit easier too. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on all three stalls, including the escape door here. And then those drop downs have the jail bars as well. So these come down. And what I really like about this feature 
is that you're able to offer more feed, offer water, check on horses without having to go in the trailer and take them off or anything and risk something happening. So you're able to just get that down. You know, you can pop up in here, give them some extra feed, give them that water, whatever you need to do. And then with these, you just put this back up. So these are gonna pop into place down below and that way they're not gonna be slapping against the trailer while you're driving. And then if you wanted to, you've got the bus window in there. So if it's not super warm out, but you want some ventilation or airflow for those horses, you can open up this bus window just a little bit and you can get that going for them too. So right here's the escape door on that first stall. And that's what I was talking about, being able to use it for one, for horses obviously, and then for two, storage stall, because you've got this access from the outside, having the escape door right here. You got a chest bar in there, just in case you are to put a horse in there and you got to use it as an escape door to get out real quick, you can do so without that horse following you out of here. And then the other nice thing I like about the Cimarron trailers, they put latches on all of their doors. So all these doors are gonna be on a latch system and that way they're not gonna be flying shut when that wind's blowing and you're trying to get stuff done. They're gonna be in that stationary position latched back. So this trailer, we are sitting at seven one tall. We're sitting at six ten wide. And then we have an on the floor length of 18 feet, nine inches. Empty weight on this one's 3,330 pounds. So like I said earlier, definitely always double check your tow rating, make sure your vehicle's rated to tow something of this weight, but majority of the half tons, three quarter tons, bigger SUVs should be able to pull this. So stock number we've got on this one's gonna be 5N221775, and that's 5N221775. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pole. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot, on our website, or you're looking at building one, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call me at my, call or text me at my cell phone and that's 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to Morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot noll, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. If you click the link below, it'll take you to this trailer on our webpage, and then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.